breaking news welcome to today's headlines whatever the cost we will achieve the afro cause hype up says whatever the cost we will achieve the afro cause hype up says to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from Please stay tuned as I read today's news. The indigenous people of the Afra, Hype Up says, it remains committed to the liberation and restoration of the sovereign state of the Afra. The group noted, no amount of intimidation will dissuade it from such a noble cause. The secessionist group stressed that although the Federal Republic of Nigeria attacked it a terrorist organization, its modus operandi and demands do not in any way suggest it subscribes to the tenet and ideals of terrorism. IPOP Director of Media and Publicity, Ima Powerful, stated this in a statement on Wednesday where it thanked the Afrans for painstakingly participating in the annual May 31st the Afro Day. The statement reads in part, The global movement and family of the indigenous people of the Afra under the command and leadership of our great leader Mazi Unamdekanu wish to congratulate the Afran, friends of the Afran and lovers of freedom across the world, who made out time to grace the approach event and remembrance of our fallen heroes and heroines who paid the ultimate price for the freedom of the Afra between 1967 to 1970 until date. We commend the Afrans, both home and in the diaspora, over their resilience, tenacity, and effort in ensuring that our celebration of the Afran heroes and heroines was very successful and had a beautiful global outlook in all countries in the world. Hyper leadership brings to you a message of encouragement. And hope from our great leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, who is, just, who is joyful over the committed participation by IPOP families worldwide who demonstrated to the global community that we are ready to go and to manage our destiny in a free and independent Biafra nation. In line with fully charged emotions, and agonizing memories, we appeal to the conscience and conscious considerations of the international community to extend to West African and precisely the Biafrans that all important and widely preached and consistently published United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which includes but not limited to freedom to choose our political economic and social systems, self-determination among others. It is also unheard of that we are by the stipulated policies of the Nigerian government not allowed self-motivated community, effort-financed regional infrastructural development in compliance with sustainable development goals. We equally thank IPOP families, amongst us, whose efforts on this year's Heroes Remembrance Day program of events attracted distinguished diplomats and dignitaries of high repute, especially from their host countries. The Indo program yielded more opportunities for the tenacious pursuit of the Afro freedom and for our people to be re-educated 
by knowledgeable Biafrans and friends of Biafra Lundi need for us to remain peaceful and focused, no matter the height of mountains of distractions and provocation from agents provocateurs, provocateurs working against our collective interest but working in collaboration with the Nigerian Fulani government. Therefore, everyone must endeavor to focus on the ball. The larger picture is our struggle to liberate our land from the distasteful forcible union called Nigeria. We are Biafrans over 75 million in population. We are no terrorists. We are no criminals. As our oppressor Nigeria wished to tag us. Every country and nation of the world police, immigration, foreign affairs and competent courts can attest to our good conduct, which is contrary to the delib to deliberate character assassination of a race by the Nigerian government police, armed forces and their media disinformation. The indigenous people of the Afro Al IPOP says it remains committed to the liberation and restoration of the sovereign state of the Afra. The group noted no amount of intimidation will dissuade it from such a noble cause. The secessionist group stressed that although the Federal Republic of Nigeria had tagged it a terrorist organization, its modus operandi and demands do not in any way suggest it subscribes to the tenant and ideals of terrorism. IPOP Director of Media and Publicity, Ima Powerful, stated this in a statement on Wednesday, where it thanked Biafrans for painstakingly participating in the annual military force Biafra Day. The statement reads in part, the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, wish to congratulate Biafrans, friends of Biafra and lovers of freedom across the world who made out time to grace the Epoch event and remembrance of our fallen heroes and heroines who paid the ultimate price for the freedom of Biafra between 1967 to 1970 until date. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section.